Hi, I'm Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support and I'm standing in front of the GX7000 and uh, what we want to talk about with this printer is the paper tray. The errors that occur when you assemble it uh, are and do the install. So the paper tray has two positions and that's the 8.5 by 11 which comes compressed and then there's the 11 by 17 position where it's extended all the way. So what I want to go over is how to properly install the paper tray to eliminate any errors or any faults with your printer. So let's get started. All right, this is the tray from GX7000. This is what it looks like when you take it out uh, or you know just before installation or just when you take it out from the installation. I get the question a lot of times about the tray and the reason why is that when you take it out to uh, put larger media in there, then you have to extend the cover along with the bottom part of the tray. So um, there are two parts to the tray, this being the cover, and then you have the bottom part. So the cover is in two positions as well as the bottom will, can be in two positions. And it's either compressed or it's all the way open. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so pretending we want to extend the tray for larger media, and this is how I recommend you set the tray up, because you can always move the tab within the tray to adjust to smaller media. So we'll extend to the larger media. This is the cover and we're going to just move it aside for now. We're going to focus on the bottom part of the tray. Alright, so what's important about the bottom part of the tray when putting larger media in? Um, you have locking tabs, one on each side within the tray. They're lighter in color, so you have this dark gray or black tray and then you have this light gray locking tabs. Now they slide inward or outward. To lock it, you would slide them inward. And to unlock it, you're going to push towards the center of the tray. And that unlocks the tabs. OK. And then you have this tab, which goes forward or back for your smaller and larger media. Once the tray is unlocked, and you can see I have 8.5 by 11 paper in here. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave it alone. You can slide the tray all the way out till it's to its full extension which is going to be 11 by 17. Lock the locking tabs back, one on each side. And then to adjust to your media, you have your width margarines here. If you pinch this little uh, tab here, you can slide uh, the margarines for your width in, um, in inward or outward, should I say. And uh, you want to bump those just barely up against your media, not so much that it binds when it pulls the paper in, okay? And then you have this uh, forward and back tab. Now this goes to the length, to the small edge of your media for, for length, okay? So pretending that, uh, let's say for instance, you have larger media, then you would pull, of course, this 8.5 by 11 out. And this being legal size media, you can just pull this back. You also have some measurement sizes in here. I know you may not be able to see it right now, but um, if you're working with your tray, you'll be able to see it well. So what you would do is just slide this forward, just barely touching it up against the long, the short edge of the paper, okay? All right, so last part is your cover. So your cover, along with your bottom part of the tray, has to be extended uh, fully. And the reason why, is if you don't extend it fully, then uh, you have these tabs here that won't line up properly with the bottom part of the tray. So make sure you extend it so that it lines up. Otherwise, you're going to struggle, struggle to get the uh, top cover back on. And that's the call I usually get. So make sure you extend the top along with the bottom or compress the top along with the bottom. So two positions for both the cover and the bottom part of the tray. Now, you can put up to 11 by 17 paper in this bottom tray, and anything above that, you're going to need your bypass tray. So we've talked about how to install the paper tray on the GX7000 for different media sizes. One, the compressed paper tray, which is 11 by 8 and a half, and also the extended media, which is the maximum size media that you can put in tray one, which is 11 by 17. So how to put the tray in without any errors and adjust the top cover as well. 
and then move the tab within the tray so that you can adjust to different media sizes. If you have any questions on how or anything that I've just went over in this video, feel free to call us here at Condi. My name is Vicki and thank you for your time.